Hey everyone, James Niggemeyer here. Thank you for tuning back into my YouTube channel. Today I want to do a video for my playlist, Keep It Simple series. And that playlist is all about, you know, just kind of keeping it basic, keeping it simple. I really feel like there's no better time to do a Keep It Simple series than when you have the conditions like I have here. Before I get right into it, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. So the conditions that I have here are high muddy water. I'm at the north end of a reservoir where there's a lot of current. I'm seeking some areas that are more stable, not a lot of current, more uh, slack water areas, if you will. And I wanna talk about a lure selection or the lure selection that I would keep it simple with when faced with high, muddy, or very stained water like I have here. So when I'm fishing high, muddy, or stained water, I feel like the best thing you can do is go back to the basics, go back to what we call some bubba type fishing, and that's spinnerbait and a jig. And when it comes to selection of you know trailers and weights and colors, I definitely like to make my presence known and so I want to go with a black and blue jig, three eighths, possibly half, depending on how, depending upon how thick the cover is. And I want a nice big trailer, something that really has a bulky presence because a bass's sense of sight is diminished tremendously in muddy water. I want to give them, you know, a target that they can see and one that puts out a bulky presence and silhouette, but also pressure waves like something's actually there so they can kind of pick it up with their lateral line. I'm gonna get as close to any kind of fish holding targets as I possibly can because again, their, their vision is diminished because of the muddy water. You've gotta be able to place it right near where you think the fish are because if you don't and it's too far away from a possible fish holding target, they're, they just don't have the vision to be able to see it three, four, and five feet away from, the, from that uh, potential place where a bass might be. So spinnerbait this is a 5 16 maybe a 3 8 or even a half if i want to go with bigger blades i just happen to have a smaller spinnerbait tied on but i like a, a colorado or an oklahoma or turtle type shell tortoise type shell a spinnerbait blade like this because it puts out more vibration you got a lot of flash and really just going to cover water and if i was to go away from the chunk for the back of my jig i would probably go with you know, a rage cross, something that has a lot of swimming action in the water, again, to put out pressure waves and draw those fish to my bait. So that's really it, you guys, keeping it simple with a couple of baits and really I'm gonna cover water and I'm gonna make accurate casts with my jig and my spinner bait and try to put those baits in and around fish holding targets because again, their sense of vision is gonna be diminished. They're gonna rely on that lateral line you got to put it close to them and you want to have something with a bulky presence, either darker colors or brighter colors. I don't generally go with natural colors in dirty water. Well, I had the camera turned off. It looks like it's going to storm here pretty quick, but I just caught that beauty right there on that exact spinnerbait. Anyways, keep it simple series.